Right, I've got something different today. I wasn't going to show this part of this repair, but I will do. Somebody might be interested. This is coming from another dealer who's uh, got failing eyesight and has actually retired, but he bought this for himself. And it's a President Johnson 2. And uh, he's bought this as a non-worker. And the trouble is, with it all being surface mount, um, there's nothing he can really see to do with it. So he's given us some ideas, and we've looked at those ideas, and um, none of the parts he suggested appear to be faulty. So what Mr. Ch Mr. Chippy does this kind of thing, um, because I, I really don't want to get involved um, with surface mount to that degree at, at my age either. So, because um, really it means investing, we've, although we've got a video microscope and which I've shown before and we've got certain facilities we haven't got the kind of facilities they'd have in laptop and mobile phone repair right down to component level I'm not talking about board swappers I'm talking about to component level so in view of that it's not something we would normally do but anyway I'm gonna what Mr Chippy's asked me to do is see what I think is wrong So I think the customer says it's as deaf as a post. So President Johnson, it's only just out of being current. So I've put 13.8 volts on it. We'll plug the mic in. Luckily he sent the mic because we're not likely to have anything. And switch it on. So it looks to me like it's on UK, and we'll put it on channel 20. So we'll plug it into the test equipment. We've only just switched the test gear on, so it's not ready to do any frequency analysis because it needs to stabilise like all of our instruments do for about half an hour so um, with that in mind let's go into picture in picture which we should have today we also have sound today which is more than we did towards the end of the last video and we want it on the main meter piece of paper Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Right, okay. So, President Johnson. Have they done a President <laughs> Trump yet? Right, let's look at what he's doing on transmit. It's actually doing more than three watts. He's doing... 3.4 watts and I'm doing this to kind of ascertain the signal path if it is deaf we know that the signal path to the aerial is complete otherwise it wouldn't be giving us that kind of power um, so let's look at deviation Wallow. It's t deviation is 2.1 kilohertz max which is about 1.8 to 2.1 I'm going to look at the kind of frequency it's on, even though, of course, I've connect, disconnected it, haven't I? So let's look at that. It's 27, 79094. And that will change, but that's not out of spec. It should be 79125, of course, but that's neither here nor there. So now we'll look at this receive, which is what the complaint is. Um, go over to the sign up meter for what it's worth. And we'll plug in the test gear to the extension speaker socket. What I was saying on the last video, which is what didn't come through because there's no sound, 
is that it's been pointed out to me that we never test the public address mode. I, I do if the customer said the public address doesn't work, but we don't normally test public address mode. And some customers, some people actually want the PA to work. Now somebody uh, message, sent a message, put a, a, a thing on, comment on, that they bought a Midland 88. It has a single socket which for extension speaker and PA combined. When you select PA, that works fine. But when you go to normal CB, it's you can't switch it away from being into that external speaker. They don't want it to be an external speaker. They want it to be an internal speaker. And so that's a real poor show, and it's not a cheap set. Mind there's a lot of things about that set that's a, a poor show, like the speed at which it goes into transmit and the faffness of uh, all the menus and that. Anyway, uh, that aside, um, so... The last set we did with the Amstrad, I tested public address, but it didn't come through because uh, of, me, of me not pr uh, plugging the preamp in like a twit. So there's something we're going to do, and we're going to look at all old sets and all new sets as to how the PA set system works, because some of them you have no control of volume, and if you've got no control of volume, it means you've got to use one of those dreadful power mic things to give it control of volume, and that's a poor show too. So we'll see what new sets and what old sets have got PA and we'll, I'll put a speaker up on the, uh, on the wall and one of those 4 inch uh, 711 speakers which are very good and we will test that on all sets that come through. And we aren't far, far away from doing selectivity tests as well. Um, so let's see where we are on receive. That's 100 microvolts, so that's as deaf as a post. So let's just see whether there's RF gain. And it's as deaf as a post with that, so just go back to the normal setting where we were 100 microvolts. I wonder how you get... Oh, function. Oh, I wonder if... Hang on a minute. If we press function... I'll have to probably look at the instructions for this. Or is it second function? I don't know. So it now says local on the display, so it's a long press. So the maximum sensitivity is now there. Um, so of course it is as deaf as a post as he quite rightly says. I'm just tempted to um, just look at the receiver alignment just in case it's been screwdrivered and that's all that's wrong with it so it looks like the without looking at the service manual which we do have it looks like the transmit line is simply down there and that the, all the receiver is adjustable so looking at the synod meter That makes it worse, so that's peak. Gained a bit there, but it's neither here nor there. So this is proving all these stages have effect. That's why I'm doing it. So once again, that has effect. And again, that has effect. Look at these IF ones. One's probably going to be AM detector. The other's probably going to be FM detector. So, let's see whether we can put a big signal on with the oscilloscope.
I'm just hastening. This is not my job. It's Mr. Chippy's job. So I'm not going to see this through. This is just an evaluation video. I'm just going to use the wrong screwdriver. It's a bit tighter than I want to use with a ceramic tool. Don't do this at home, will you? So that is P. Let's just check this one. It's probably AM. No, it isn't. There we are. That's probably AM then. Yeah, I think that's AM. Right, anyway. So, every one of these makes a difference. So what I was getting at is if we turned one of these, it didn't make any difference, then that's where the fault's going to be. So, it looks to me like it's um, it could be a switching diode, but it's I'm not sure about that because if it was a switching diode would it return to transmit so he has pointed out there's some apparently fried looking components but um, we've tested those fried looking components like that one there and it reads ok in circuit So it's going to go over to Mr. Chippy, and this is just an evaluation. And I will say to Mr. Chippy, you need 100 microvolts on for this to receive a signal. So that's where this video ends. That's all it is. It's just an initial evaluation. Does this one have public address? No, it doesn't. So thanks for watching that. We'll, I'll come back to you when we are further into that, or whether we return it unrepaired.